Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of K Cards. This is Kurt. And today I decided to pick up some Panini Prism baseball trading cards for the 2023. Um, just kind of decided that I would grab some since they're just sitting and sitting and sitting now that they don't have the MLB Players Association. Um, have the past players and they can have prospects but nobody current um now i will say i believe you can have some of the currents as long as they weren't called up prior to the season starting maybe um i think i've seen like some ellie de la cruz and stuff like that in these um but this is the first time i've opened one of these um never really opened too much panini products since in the first place but um, they do make a nice looking product just, uh, for me not having those licenses kind of, kind of turns me off a little bit sometimes, but always got those chances of finding something really nice. Um, even if it's not one of the current players. So, um, so I've got four retail blasters. There's five cards per pack, six packs, total of 30. Find one retail exclusive green ice prism and also find six blaster exclusive blue ice prisms so got your retail exclusive um, inserts here blueprint old game and more i'll cut this off and you can kind of see on the side here some of the other things that you can look for in this um, I won't go through all of it, but 300 card base set. Um, see how these look. See what this is all about. Um, Said it's my first time doing this, so at least for the first first couple here, I will at least go through these nice and slow. Um, Jared Schuster, Atlanta, Smoltz. Uh, Lopez, Newhauser, Green, and Cecil Fielder. I don't believe any of these things are numbered. But yeah, it's decent looking cards. Um, just won't have any of that rookie or anything like that. Brady House, Schultz. Dobby, Jeff Bagwell, a three hole. That's kind of a neat one. Brandon Fad. So basically, each pack is going to have one of these blue ice prisms. I already got that green card. So, like I said, there's an Ellie De La Cruz. Kyle Harrison, another good one. Matt Williams. Ernie Lombardi, good looking refractor. Connor Prelip. Prelip. Um, again, still nothing numbered though. Um, does say that there's an opportunity for some numbered cards. And I believe you have an opportunity for um, some autos out of here. Alice Simmons Fielding Pete Crow Armstrong. Fine young player. Got to see a little bit of action at the end of the season for the Cubs. So be exciting to see what he does for the Cubs in the coming years. Uh, if they play him like they need to, um, or like they should. Cowser. Newhauser again, Ricky Tiedemann, Future Tools, and good old Kirby Puckett. All right, last pack from the first one, and then I will do a little bit more of a super rip. Willie Cam, oh, there's that old ball game one. That's a good looking one, the old ball game insert. Larry Dolby. 
I like that actually. That's a pretty nice looking card. So, so nothing numbered, nothing for me, nothing spectacular out of there. Um, we'll have to see if that old ball game ends up coming up like once every six packs or something. That would, uh, I want to make them quite a special to pull, but we shall see. Yeah, we'll get through these ones a little bit quicker. Uh, I don't know how many people are really that interested in the prism. Uh, at least not this year's prisms, now that they don't have that licensing. But somebody out there probably likes these. So, or maybe wants to try these out, but been hesitant about buying them. So maybe this is your opportunity to see what it's all about. Cole Young and that green. Carlos Berga. Uh, Barry Larkin. Pat Gillick from Toronto. It's interesting. GM. So there's another one of those. Um, so at least as of right now, one per. There's a nice young pitcher for the Cardinals. He's one of their top. He might even be their number one right now. De Los Santos, Jim Rice. Zach Geloff, you know, he got his call up this year. He did fairly decent. UV, Delauder, Tony Oliva, Harold Baines. There's the blueprint. Pete Rose. That's the first one of those we've gotten. Warren Spawn. Gary Lawler. Tom Seaver. Oh, we've got another one. Now this one's a got one in a refractor. Mariano Rivera. Very nice. Mayo, Posey, Pedro, and Gail Blyce. Future Tools, and Juan Gonzalez. A couple nice inserts out of there. If you have looked at these, uh, you know what these are all about. Uh, you can checking out prices, wanting to be picking those up off of eBay or whatever else, drop me a comment. Let me know uh, what are some of the, the better ones to be looking for out of this. Uh, like I said, I don't know that I'll be picking any of these up for my PC, but definitely a, a nice looking card for me to be giving out to kids. Um, newer to the channel um, like I've heard what I do with a lot of my extra stuff I give a lot of stuff away to the kids out there um, keeping them in the hobby uh, I do repacks for them plus I also give away each show I go to uh, first 50 kids that come in that are 14 and under I give a free pack of cards to um, Nice green Lou Brock. Good Hall of Famers. That is the nice thing. You do get a lot of Hall of Famers out of this. So that's that is kind of nice. The Donas, Donias, uh, Brooke Lee, Zach Tommen, Eduardo Julian. There's a Jordan Walker. Finished off the season for the Cardinals really well. Had a couple couple struggles. There's a nice Elijah Green. Couple struggles here and there throughout the season, mostly in the beginning. Luis Angel, Angel uh, Acuna, Ron's younger brother. It's gonna be exciting to see what all these young players uh, do next year. La Day of the Cruz, Mason Wynn, Jordan Walker. Um, you know, just a lot of these young players that came up this year and have gotten a lot more time under their belt. I think their sophomore years are going to be so much better. I'll finish that one off to Nolan R or Nolan Ryan. A couple baseball legends are done now. 
going to be a different atmosphere for Detroit, different atmosphere for uh, Cardinals, potentially dis different atmosphere for the Reds. You know, Miguel Cabrera's done. Adam Wainwright's done. You know, season after they lost Pujols and Molina and Joey Votto. You know, time's going to tell. Is he coming back? He's got a $20 million option for next year or a $7 million buyout. They've got a lot of good young talent that they could be putting a lot more money into if they don't keep him. So it'd be interesting to see if he's played his last game. Mitch Brett, Mark Grace. There's another Ellie De La Cruz. Williams. Another Ricky Tiedemann. Bobby Miller. That's another good one. Simmons. Gavin Williams, Refractor, Gary Perez, another fine young pitcher, came up for the Marlins this year. Sandberg, Brooks Robinson. Hmm. That's sad, sad. That's, uh, Drew Jones, very nice. So as I'm finishing up here, folks, uh, really appreciate the like and subscribe drop me some comments another mariano rivera uh, let me know what you think of these have you already pulled some of these you're not going to don't care um, and let me know if there's something else that is out there that you think i should try see if that's uh something worthwhile to put out there on the channel even if you haven't pulled it you haven't collected it yourself let me know um, I don't know why I put those guys over there I didn't want them over there I want some of these top guys that came into the league but uh, yeah definitely drop me some comments let me know uh, there's something else I should be looking for uh, open up on the channel for you so, get ready for baseball playoffs everybody starting on Tuesday October 3rd so Till next time, thanks and have a great day. Bye.